Hi everyone. We're going to sketch the graph of y equals 2 minus x to the 2 thirds. Anytime it looks like this a little bit, it's probably going to be a, a cusp type graph. And we're first going to test the function. That means finding for, uh, x and y intercepts. Take the first derivative, second derivative, and test m behavior. So basically, here we go. And let's first find the x and y intercepts. So we set to find the x intercept, set y to 0. So you get 2 minus x to the um, 2 thirds, which is x to the 2 thirds equals 2. And then just do this 3 halves, 3 halves. So basically, um, this is going to x equals um, the square root of 2 cubed, which is square root of 8, which equals um, 2 square root of 2. And don't forget, uh, this can be plus and minus. All right, when you do the square root, plus and minus. So basically, our x-intercepts are at... Um, plus or minus, or I'll just put plus 2 square root of 2 comma 0 and negative 2 square root of 2 comma 0. All right, remember square root of 2 equals 1.41 approximately. Uh, approximately. All right, now we have to find the y-intercepts. So that's when you let x be 0. So we have y equals 2 minus 0 to the 2 thirds. So that just means y equals uh, 2. So when x is 0, y is 2. All right, so that's going to help us with the graph. And next, let's test the first derivative. So when you do that, you're going to get um, this 2 goes away. So y prime equals, uh, let's see, this is 2 minus and this is to the um, two-thirds. I thought I did something wrong. Okay, so that's positive two-thirds. So you're going to get negative two-thirds x minus one-third to the negative one-third power. Now set this to zero. Now, there are no values for x which this equation is zero. So we have new stuff we have to deal with at x equals zero then. Uh, we're going to have to look at the limits as um, x approaches 0 from the right of negative 2 thirds x to the negative 1 third. Um, that's going to lead to negative infinity. All right? And as the limit as x approaches um, zero from the left of negative two-thirds x to the negative one-third, that leads to infinity. Therefore, when you have something like this, that leads to a cusp, and the cusp is going to be at zero comma two, because we, we did it at zero here. All right? Now we have to take the second derivative. And so the uh, y double prime is going to equal uh, 2 ninths x to the negative 4 thirds. Again, you set this to 0. Um, there is uh, no way for this to equal 0. So the second derivative is positive for all values of x except at 0. Because uh, that's going to be stationary there. So therefore, the graph is concave up um, everywhere um, except zero. It's positive at all values except zeros. So it's always concave up. So if we graph this, we have this. We have our y-intercept. Um, these are our x-intercepts here. And it's concave up everywhere. So it's concave up here, um, graphing uh, from the left, taking the limit, 
and then from the right okay it's always going positive here positive here and positive there and there's your cusp thank you guys have a nice day bye bye